Hey everybody, it's Brian, and I have not recorded a video in a very long time. I'm hoping that will change. It is, wow, what day is it? January 2nd, 2014. That's right. All these nice, beautiful pictures. I couldn't really pick one, but uh, Happy New Year, everybody. So, what have I been doing? Where have I been? Well, I switched jobs. I worked at a casino, which if you've ever worked at a casino, knows just, it devours your soul. I spend almost every waking minute doing nothing but work to save my sanity and my relationship. I change jobs. I now work for a company called CNSI, but with switching jobs comes the new job headache where you work a lot of hours, et cetera, et cetera. So it's been kind of a rough year. So I've been kind of reflecting on my channel and what I want to do. And as far as coding goes, what I've really been working on is this plug-in service. It was my first Kickstarter project. The project did not get funding, but you know what? It's not really about the money for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyways. Um, I've really spent over a year on this project. In 2013, I really just put my nose to the grindstone, and I've actually got the website done. It looks much better than that. And uh, I've got the, let me see if I can bring it up here. Yeah, I've got the actual testbed application here. And yeah, we'll talk about more of this in the coming year, but I wanted to get back into doing tutorials because, well, I kind of miss doing it. So this year, I want to really focus in on the YI framework for PHP. YI is an acronym, stands for Yes It Is. And I think I've actually made a video where I've said, you know, I'm going to do more tutorials, but I really mean it this time, now that my life isn't so crazy. Also, I want to get back into doing Qt because, well, I love Qt. Qt's undergone quite a bit of change lately. They just released version, what is it, 5.2? And also during the year, it got sold to a company called Digia. Nokia actually sold it, which, I don't know. I didn't like the direction Nokia was taking it, so I think it was actually a good thing. But there's a split where there is the commercial version available by Digia and the open source version uh, available by the cuteproject.org. Nine times out of ten, we're going to visit Cute Project because, well, open source is just awesome. Um, of course, I say that, and you see Windows browser. In case you're wondering why I'm on Windows, well, that's why I'm currently patching. And if you're on Steam and you're a gamer, my acronym's Root Shell. Do they call it an acronym anymore? My handle is Root Shell. So you can always find me out there. Um, some things that have gone on in the Qt world. Uh, Qt 5.2 introduced some very interesting features. They now have official support for um, uh, iOS, so you can actually compile and put your applications on an iPhone and an iPad, I believe. I haven't tested that yet. E also full support for Android and a whole bunch of other goodies. And this year I really want to dig into Qt because there's a whole lot of stuff that, well, we just haven't learned. So not going to write any code. I was just saying hi and happy New Year's and just letting you guys know where I've been. But um, also I kind of want to start getting into more structured programs like you see these PRI files. This is probably a mystery to some of you out there. What do these things do? Well you can actually, well maybe we will write a little code here. You can actually take your project file and then include these PRI files. And these PRIs are just project implementation files. So you can see how where I have a baster that's where the code for this is at. A build directory, which is where I'm building the actual code. And an includer, and that's where the actual code is being included. So my actual program is just this headers and source, but I'm including these PRI files, which are just directories. See, like, here's the message project, and that's the PRI file for it which just has the include path, which just includes the include dir and blah, blah, blah. And I got a little crazy about this, but I wanted to make it so I could easily add um, different project implementation files in here. So it's all about encapsulation. You know, I want the message section to be different than the plugin manager section. You saw, see how each one has its own headers and sources, things like that. I mean, we should really talk about these because I get pinged with a lot of questions of, you know, how do I use headers? How do I include files? How do I do this? How do I do that? And well, there's one of me and about 400 million of you. So there you go. Anyways, Happy New Year's. Um, been a long time since I've done a video. I look forward to doing a lot more. So if you have any ideas, let me know. It's going to be slow going at first. Like I said, I'm still in uh, new job mode, but uh, I really like this new job. It uh, got some really good and talented people that work there. Anyways, this is Brian. Happy New Year's, and I'll see you soon.